I'm Brian Butler and this is Wolf Hardesworthy Community Centre and I've been involved on the committee for the last 14 years. Very early on we decided, uh, and after consultation with everybody, what we wanted to do was provide a real asset and our strap line for all our funding and everything we were doing was building an asset for our children. We were had always intended to be a very energy efficient building. We put in a lot of insulation, employed specialist architects, Gail and Snowden, to help us with that. And hey, the building at the time was uh, an environmentally friendly building uh, and almost a, a leading environmental building in the country. At that time, we'd thought about the renewables, but we didn't think the technology was good enough or affordable enough to, us, to include. By 2007, unfortunately, just before uh, the oil price started to go through the roof. Uh, we thought about it, uh, decided what we wanted to do and obtained some grant funding to put in a complete package of renewables which included a ground source heat pump. We were suspicious to where oil price was going to go so in the long run it made sense to try and reduce our dependence on oil and we put in the photovoltaic, we put in the wind turbine, it just made so much sense if we were generating electricity theoretically for nothing how can we use that to best effect? And the ground source heat pump just meshed into that so perfectly. There are two requirements as far as we could see for ground source heat pump for it to work. One was you have to have underfloor heating because you can't get very hot water and you have to have a well insulated building. We'd already got both of those. We got the plumbing in place, the insulation was there. We just plonked the ground source heat pump down inside our plant room. We got plenty of space outside to put the coils underground was very easy. Everybody was very supportive of the idea because it made so much sense. There were some concerns because it's so big compared to what we had before and there were serious worries about the running costs. Fortunately we had got some great architects who designed the building to be low running cost and low maintenance. We had to work quite hard to sell that concept and convince the community at large that what we were putting up was a building that wasn't going to be a millstone around everybody's neck in the future and it was going to be low cost to run. The most difficult thing we had with the heat pump was actually deciding what size heat pump to install and we were sent some fairly complicated forms wanting to know about the building, its construction, uh, its energy coefficients and various other things and I didn't know all of that and in some cases it looked as though it was going to cost us money to get that information, to get a quote. We sat down with uh, one of their technical guys who came and visited us. We looked around and said, right, what we want here is an eight kilowatt ground source heat pump. We'd identified there was some funding available. Uh, we thought the technology was as reasonable as it was going to get. It had made a fair number of advances in the years before and we could see that there was going to be a demand building for funding from community groups or all sorts of places for renewable energy. The funding for the building itself, when we initially started, uh, at that time Sports Lottery uh, were around and giving out money and they were by far and away the largest funder. For the renewable energy, uh, at the time the Low Carbon Building Programme was up and active and they were the basic key funder but we also got some help from one of the electricity companies, uh, EDF, who gave us a grant and we also had some help from Renewable Energy for Devon who were active at that time. What we've got in our plant room is various electronic boxes. We've got a meter and electronic box which controls the wind turbine. Uh, we've got a similar system that controls the photovoltaic panels. But we've then got the actual physical ground source heat pump which is a box sat in the corner. We've got two boilers, one large boiler which will produce uh, hot water for showers and then we've got a smaller boiler which will do the radiator heating circuit rather than the underfloor heating circuit. The ground source heat pump they can't really see, it's hidden away, but what they can see are the display panels to see what the PV is producing and what the wind turbine is producing and a lot of people will look at that when they come in, it gets people talking about renewables uh, which has got to be good. The local school uh, is wonderful, it's a great resource for them to use and they will come down on a regular basis and look around and have quite a detailed discussion with them about uh, carbon and energy and, and the future and oil and electricity and all of that 
uh, and they'll take away figures that we produce and, and do graphs and drawings and use it as an active project for the school. I'm often asked whether the building is carbon neutral and to find that out you need somebody reasonably clever with a calculator to do the calculations. Uh, on our display panel which tells us what the photovoltaic and the wind turbine produce, it tells us what carbon dioxide we've saved which is fairly simple but obviously we're saving a huge amount of oil as well from our ground source heat pump. Saving carbon is the end point, it's not the starting point. When we started looking at this it's can we save cost? We're a community building, money is important. How can we save money? And we could save money by saving energy. And if we save energy, we save carbon. Because of everything we've got here at this building, it's a, it's a unique building in the first place. We've added all this exciting renewable energy. Uh, it makes it a great place for the community to come because it's an interesting building. Has it all been worth it? Yes, definitely. And you've only got to come down here of an evening and see five or six different groups of people using the building to know that it's been worth it. And that's what it's all about. 